Okay, in this example, I'm going to go to Unsplash and I'm going to find a photo um, that I want to use. Of course, you would do this with your own photos or a royalty-free image. Um, let's try, she's fun. Okay, so I'm going to tap the download arrow and it's asking me how I want to open it, so I'm just going to tap more and scroll down to copy. Then I'm going to go into Procreate, add a canvas, and choose clipboard, and that's going to create a canvas for me uh, with that image on it. So, um, there are a couple things you can do to the photo again. So if we go to the magic wand, let's go to the curves. And again, we're on gamma, so I'm gonna add a dot and just kind of play with the brightness, the colors. You can add as many dots as you like. I like right there. I'm gonna bump up the let me go to the saturation and turn up that saturation so it's really colorful. And um, you can remove the background like we did before, but in this case, I'm going to leave it because I actually kind of like the background. So I want um, to add a mask to this. So let's go to the layer and select the layer and choose mask. And then I'm going to fill, I want to hide everything on this photo so that I could easily bring it back. So to do that, I'm going to go to black and fill that mask layer with black so it's right now hiding everything. And then white brings it back, so I'm going to go to white. And then I'm going to find like a, a pencil. Let's go to charcoals and see what they have in charcoals. I really want like a kind of like a chalky effect. That one's nice. Um, so you can play with the size. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of scribbles to reveal the part of the photo that I wanna reveal. And it's not a big deal if you mess up because if you do, you can just go back to black again and color in the parts that you want to hide again. So that's sort of a fun way to create a mask. And your person, you can center it, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, if you want it to look more like a painting, you can go in again with the smudge tool. Um, you can add some noise to this, you can add some glitches, some half tones, and uh, let me make sure I'm on there. Um, So just adding some half tones can kind of make that a little bit more fun. So just go in and play around with all of the Procreate features that are there. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to have a gradient map, let's go there. And Procreate has these um, pre-existing, oops gradient maps that you can use. And I'll make sure I'm on the right layer here. And you can play around with those. Um, or you can make adjustments to the existing ones. Or you can 
make a new one. So to make a new one, you can go to the plus sign and you're going to, um, right now it's just um, two colors, black and white. So you can tap on it to choose a different color. So let's say I wanted this to be in purples. So I would select one uh, purple there. I can add one here and let's make that like a pink or even a yellow. And now you can see I now have um, purples and yellows and whites. I can make this one pink. Um, so you can play around with, let me make this one pink or blue. You can play around with your um, gradients. These you can slide around to change where you want your gradients to start and stop on your image. So um, yeah, there are lots of things you can do with photo editing and not even having to be a great artist. Um, just play around with your photos and come up with new and fun um, editing techniques that you can use. Let me know if you have questions and if this was helpful.